Hello friends, welcome back to Miss Ashley's Pre-K, right here in Miss Ashley's living room. Summer is just around the corner, just a few weeks away. Check out my calendar. So we are going to continue to read books about summer, the different things we can do in the summer, and how we can explore the world around us using our five senses during the summer. The book we are reading today is Splish Splash by Gail Herman, illustrated by Bill Basso. Are you ready? What do you think they're going to be doing today? Maybe having a pool party or playing in the sprinklers? Let's see. It was a bright spring day. Molly was in her backyard. Trucks were digging. Workers were shouting. What do you think they're making in her backyard? Will the pool be ready soon, Molly asked. Don't worry, said her mom. The pool will be ready by the first day of summer. Another truck came. Out came concrete and more concrete. This will take forever, said Molly. What do you think Molly needs? She needs to have patience. Remember, patience is being calm and waiting for something that you really want to happen. Then came tiles. Are you sure the pool will be ready, asked Molly. Yes, said her mom. It will be ready by the first day of summer, which is June 21st. Finally came the water. Hooray, shouted Molly. The pool is ready. And tomorrow is the first day of summer. She is feeling excited. Call your friends, said her mom. Invite them over. You can have a pool party. Molly called Sam, Lizzie, and Ben. Let's have a pool party tomorrow, she said. The next day, Molly woke up early. Happy first day of summer, she shouted. Happy pool party. She pulled on her bathing suit. Then she ran downstairs. I'm ready for the pool party, she exclaimed. How is she feeling? Excited. How are her mommy and daddy feeling? Hmm. Oh, honey, said her dad. Look outside. Molly looked. Splish, splash. It was pouring on the first day of summer. No pool party, she cried. Molly felt so bad. Splish, splash. Tears as big as raindrops round, ran down her cheek. How is Molly feeling? She is feeling sad, but she's also feeling something different. Disappointed. Disappointed is when you're feeling sad because something you were excited about or hoped for is not happening. Have you ever felt disappointed? I know I have. I'm sorry, said her mom, but you can still have a party with your friends. Molly felt a little better. She called Sam, Lizzie, and Ben. Come over anyway, she told them. We will try to have fun. When her friends came over, they wore bathing suits too. That's fun. Molly's mom turned on the brightest light. The sun is so strong, said Molly. I need sunglasses. What are they doing? They're pretending they're outside, right? Molly's dad spread a blanket on the floor. He brought out apples and oranges and sandwiches cut in little triangles. A picnic, said Molly. How are they all feeling now, friends? They're feeling happy. Sometimes when you feel disappointed about something, you can turn it around and make it a happy moment. Molly, Sam, Lizzie, and Ben played tag and hide and seek. This is almost like being outside, said Molly. She looked out the window. Splish, splash. If only we could go outside for real. Even though they're having a great time, Molly's still feeling a little bit sad and disappointed. And that's okay. Well, said her dad, it's not raining as hard. And you are wearing bathing suits, said her mom. Let's go, said Molly and her friends. What are they going to do? They're going to go outside. 
Molly, Sam, Lizzie, and Ben ran outside. Splish, splash, they stomped through the puddles. They tried to catch raindrops. Many of my friends in my two classes talked about spring. And in the spring, it rains a lot. And you said that you like to splish, splash in the rain. My friend Elise in my pre-K-4 class sent us a picture of her in her rainbow boots splashing in the puddles. Suddenly, the rain stopped. The sun peeked out, the clouds floated away. It's sunny, cried Molly, just like the first day of summer should be. Ready for a pool party, asked her mom. Splish, splash, Molly swam underwater. She did handstands, she kicked and laughed and jumped around. Everyone out of the pool, said Molly's dad. It's getting late. Thank you, said Ben. Thanks, said Sam. I had a great time, said Lizzie. I had a great time too, Molly told her mom. The next time it rains, can we have another pool party? The end. So friends, this book teaches us about a lot of emotions. One of those emotions is being disappointed. Being disappointed happens sometimes. Miss Ashley's been disappointed. Let me think, when have I been disappointed? I know. I've been disappointed when I went to the grocery store and I wanted to get a special cookie of mine. Miss Ashley loves dark chocolate Oreos and they didn't have any and that made me feel disappointed. I also felt disappointed when I wanted to go to the beach one day and I woke up and it was going to be a gloomy day all day long and I couldn't go to the beach. Hmm, have you ever felt disappointed? Friends, when you feel disappointed, it's okay to feel sad in your heart because you wanted something to happen and it's not happening. But like Molly, we can turn it around into something happy, exciting, and positive. So when I was at the grocery store, instead of getting my dark chocolate Oreos, I got chocolate chip cookies instead, and that made me happy. And instead of going to the beach, what I decided to do was invite my family over, my mommy, my sister, and my niece. And we watched movies and played board games and had pizza. So in the end, it was a really great day, even though I couldn't go to the beach. So friends, sometimes we can feel disappointed. But if we turn it around, we could also feel excited in the very same day. As always, love you lots and miss you bunches. Mwah.